you know, it's like we, we're not atomized individuals. Like we, we don't exist out. We don't exist separate from the, the, the people that gave birth to us and gave gave life to us and gave, uh, you know, so we are a chain. Uh, we are a chain in a history. We are a chain in a, in a series of events. And those series of events brought the West to join with this like Semitic world and fuse a a a a a, uh, a way of being and a way of thinking which then expanded you know and you know and 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 and, and basically civilized europe you know it's like people mm-hmm. always think you know it's like the vikings you know you know especially there's a lot of these neo pagans around like talking mm-hmm. about thor it's like you know the vikings all they were doing were like raping and pillaging and cutting people's heads off <laughs> Before they became Christians, it's like mm-hmm. then when they 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 became Christians, then they were the Normans, then they were the kings of Sicily and the kings of of uh, of uh, of England, mm-hmm. and it was like then they like then they kicked ass like seriously because they had that they had they had that basis they had that structure mm-hmm. to kind of channel their Nordic whatever energy into you know, mm-hmm. uh, and also because then their Nordic kind of warrior like character could be put at in service of the weak, at least ideally, Mm -hmm. you know, because a Viking with his ax doesn't care about anybody. He just cares about getting the gold and the honor and the women, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas the knight, the knight, obviously in practice, it doesn't always happen that way, but at least the ideal of the knight is to fight for the weakest person, to fight for your lady, to fight for the orphan. You know, it's like, that's a Mm -hmm. huge difference. That's a huge difference. And so we should really freaking dread like the return of of the of the north man because you know what that looks like that looks like 1930s germany that's what it looks like <laughs> the return of like the return of like that pagan thing mm-hmm. man it's going to like it it's there's some of that in the air you know and it's like you need to realize what that is it mm-hmm. means chopping heads off that's what it means <laughs> 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 that's interesting oh man i may have to rethink uh my my holiday celebrations but uh <laughs> I, I started playing around with celebrating yule just because i was like oh it's a lot like christmas it's got the basic uh things going on there without uh without the necessarily the religious connotation well modern religious connotation so it's but uh but that's interesting now now i'm gonna be thinking about that a lot um but the other thing about the paganism and you really have to think this through mm-hmm. is it the the one of the problem with the neo-pagans right now is that they're just basically making it up as they go along oh that's true right so we don't really right know. they don't they don't have that handed down tradition like they're not a link they're basically necromancers like they, they they've <laughs> dug they went they dug a body out of the ground and now they're trying to like, like magically bring it back to life it's like dude that body is dead you know it's and yeah. it's also it's been integrated into the wider christian civilization and so sure. there's a lot of of the nordic stories that are that are like in and even the nordic stories we know today they were written by a christian like the nor yeah. the northmen didn't write down their stories like and mm-hmm. so even the ones that we have are already joined with like the 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 the, the Christian tradition mm-hmm. so there's room and that's what the knight that's what I keep telling people it's like th- there was there were no knights until the until the northmen converted mm-hmm. like the idea of the knight is the joining of like Rome joined with 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 let's say a Semitic world and created a certain way of being like a, a Christian empire let's say that the the ideal of that is like Byzantium let's say but mm-hmm. then the then that world joined with the northern people and created like the holy warrior because it wasn't there before and this whole idea of the knight is really the joining of the northern way of seeing the world with the like the southern and that's why mm-hmm. like even even in Byzantium. You know, the, 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 the army of the emperor, the guard of the emperor were the were the Varingians. So the Varingians were all these all all these uh, Norwegian types, like Danish types, who came to Russia and mm-hmm. became the uh, you know, the elite of Russia. And when they converted to Christianity, it's like then they became the the the, the, the like the real army of the Byzantine emperor. And it was like mm-hmm. it just it's it's like you have to be able to see and so and then we're the legacy of that. And so to go back and to say Thor, it's like, why do you say Thor? Like, why don't you say St. George? Everything <laughs> you want in Thor is in St. George, you know? <laughs> and you don't have to dig up a dead body to get to get St. George. Like, he's there's, he's there's still churches named after him in your town, probably. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs>